Montgomery County, we're very fortunate to have an infant and toddlers program that starts physical therapy early for these kids. But sometimes during school age, those things drop out, and the only thing some of these kids have is a phys ed program that keeps their hearts healthy, that keeps their loose ligaments and joints firm and ready to be able to perform. And if you don't invest the time now, you're going to pay for it when they're older in additional care and additional services. And so it's a quality of life issue that's far beyond enjoyment and inclusion. It's, it's an actual physical need that these children have. This is uh, Lux Manor Elementary School, school community-based program. Oh, uh, kids come into the class with multiple disabilities and we adapt our physical education program to meet their needs. Hey, look at the ball. Look at the ball, Tony. With Tony, we work on his social interaction with his, uh, with his peers. We also work on increasing his physical fitness by uh, walking throughout the, the gym. And we also work on eye-hand coordination and his ability to uh, pull and push objects. Carmen is a physical therapist, and when she comes in, we work together in order to establish a great curriculum for these students with adaptive PE needs. There is a beep, and the beep is located where the target is, and I try to um, follow the, the beep uh, and hit the, the target. Nice job, Angie. Beautiful. It's really good for me because that's, help, that's helping me. It's a big help. Here we go. Jump and jack. Give yourself a little bit of room. Come on, Dominique. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's when go. Dominique first joined us, uh, we knew that she had very specific needs that had to be met. She comes in with a big smile on her face every day. The other students just embraced her. She really feels that she's a part of the key family. And today, Dominique really worked on a, a total body workout, push downs for her tricep strength and endurance. She also did some rows for her back and lat muscles. And then we also had her on her gait trainer um, working on some of her leg strength. So we really give all of the kids in general a total body workout. Reach! Reach for the sky! This is an adaptive physical education class and it's for special needs students. We try to match the student with the needs and what's best for that student in that particular class. So for example, I had a student in my second period adaptive class that I thought would do better in a general physical education class. So I checked the list to make sure that it was going to be a good match and then we switched him over. We also find that if the, the adaptive student is struggling or having a particularly bad day, then we'll, we'll move him back. So it's, it's the best environment for him at that time. Today, we had a great example of inclusion with the hockey. The special ed kids alongside regular ed kids, them all enjoying themselves, them all getting their heart rate up, having fun. But there's a camaraderie there. She is able to do things alongside her peer group and it really changes how they look at her. It changes the, the social dynamics of that group and it strengthens the inclusion model both in the classroom and outside of the classroom and later on when everybody's out of MCPS the way that they view her as a person. Um, it, it all kind of melds together to make a stronger society both within the school and outside of the school.